Okay, so um, we want the same thing, uh, or we want to do something similar to what we did before, namely um, we want to project our point by multiplying the K matrix times the external camera parameter matrix times some world point. And this is um, the first three rows of the world to camera uh, 4 by 4 matrix. Um, so I wrote it like that. And as before, uh, we'll um, find it easier to compute the um, uh, camera to world uh, transform and take the inverse. So the uh, camera to world transform is uh, given by the uh, vehicle to world times the camera to vehicle. Okay, so looking at the first one, let's say the uh, vehicle to world. Um, that is composed of a rotation matrix from vehicle to world. And of course the um, uh, trans the translation of the vehicle in the world. So if I look at the rotation of the vehicle with respect to the world, I see it's just a rotation about the z-axis of the world. So I can write this as um, Rz of 30 degrees. And um, going back to the lecture on 3D rotations, you can see that this is a uh, cosine of 30 um, a uh, minus sine of 30, sine of 30, and uh, cosine of 30. Okay. And the uh, translation of the vehicle origin in the world I said was uh, 4 minus 4, 1. Let's uh, transpose. All right, so let's go ahead and start making a uh, MATLAB um, script to do this. So I'll say uh, rotation from vehicle to world is um, cosine, and I'll use the cos d form of this, which takes uh, degrees, and sine d. So that's cosine minus sine, sine, and cosine. And then, of course, 0, 0, 1. The uh, translation of the vehicle's origin in the world is 4 minus 4, one. So that I can put those together to make my uh, 4 by 4 matrix of vehicle to world. It's going to be R vehicle to world, T vehicle origin in the world, and then um, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so the other piece we need is the camera uh, to vehicle transform. So let's go back to this image here. Um, we can see that the camera is rotated with respect to the vehicle by just a rotation about the x-axis. So um, the rotation from camera to vehicle is Rx and then um, the, the, the amount of rotation is, if I started with the world Z pointing up, um, it actually rotates minus 120 degrees. Um, the origin of the camera with respect to the vehicle is uh, 0, 1, 2. Okay. So let me go ahead and um, 
put that into the MATLAB script. So the rotation matrix about the x-axis is going to be um, given by uh, cosine of minus 120 minus sine of minus 120 um, sine of minus 120 and cosine of minus 120. The translation of the camera's origin with respect to the vehicle is 0, 1, 2. So the 4x4 four four matrix from camera to vehicle is uh, rotation from camera to vehicle, translation of camera origin with respect to vehicle, and then 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So now I'm ready to go ahead and um, composite those by multiplying um, to get the uh, camera to world. I can do that by taking uh, cam or vehicle to world times uh, camera to vehicle. And then, of course, I'm going to need to take the inverse of this because what I really want is world to camera. Um, now I can extract the external extrinsic camera parameter matrix from the world to camera. Um, let's see, I'm going to need a K matrix. Um, and I said the K matrix, let's see here. Um, the image is 200 high by 300 wide, focal length of 300. Okay, so um, focal length 300. Uh, middle of the camera, I'll assume, is CX, so that's 150. Uh, middle of the camera in the Y direction would be um, 100. Okay, so that's my K. Um, I can project um, the points onto the camera by multiplying uh, uh, K times MEXT times uh, P world. Okay, so I need to define P world. Um, and actually I have four points in the world that I want to transform. Um, it's easiest to just do these all at once. So I'm going to create a um, matrix of points where each point is a column in this matrix. So the points are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 0. zero, 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 zero. And then the the uh, last row, the fourth element of every point is a 1 because they're homogeneous points. Okay, so um, every column here represents a 3D point. So if I multiply this times PW, it will transform all the points. Finally, um, I need to divide through by the third element of, um, of the result. And I can do that by, um, in this case, I, I have to do it one row at a time. There might be an easier way to do this. But the first row, I um, take every row, er, every, uh, every column on that first row and divide by the corresponding element on the third row. Okay. Um, 
can also I should also do that for the second row and I can do that for the third row as well so that uh, makes sure that the third element is a one here and that should be it so then I can display my points and let's go ahead and run that so I ran that and I got um, these points as being projected onto the image um, just to wrap this up I can uh, create an image of these points um, I'll just create a synthetic image of size uh, 200 by 300 uh, and for every point every one of these four points I will um, calculate the row as uh, I need to round to the nearest integer um, like that take the column um, and then I will just insert that into the image at that point. And then I'll show that. Okay, run that. Okay, so now I have, um, oops, I'm sorry. I made a mistake here. This should be two and one, right? So. The, uh, the y value, which is my second value, is actually the rows and the uh, first, uh, first element, x, is the columns. Okay, so now I have my resulting image. As you can see, I have uh, points here, 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 and here.